now this for, oh, the guest. I'm the one who really needs it. <laughs> We're here saluting Betty White today because she is such a wonderful, wonderful person and she has the welfare of animals foremost in her mind. And we are honoring her with a group of her friends. They're all going to be talking and he's getting a profile. <laughs> Uh, actors and other animals, our main thrust is spay and neuter. And uh, we feel that that's at the crux of the problem of the over pet population. And if uh, the people are responsible pet owners, they spay and neuter their animals, and then we don't have. And if they uh, go and save an animal's life by going to a rescue or the shelter instead of going to a puppy mill or a pet store, who quite often get their puppies, sometimes unbeknownst to them, from puppy mills, then. Uh, uh, you know, we're ahead of the game. We also do help with the medical because, you know, as our medical bills rise, also the veterinarian bills rise. So uh, that's what the purpose today is to raise money so that we can help. Okay, so any plans for you to go on stage? This summer I'm going to be doing Full Monty in Kansas City, Excellent. and later on I'm doing the female version of The Odd Couple with Cindy Williams back in New Jersey. Excellent. Well, you're fantastic. Thank this you. woman is amazing. She's funny, she's brilliant, and she's beautiful, energetic. I love your energy. <laughs> uh, I did just did a Bones. Oh, wonderful. I played a, an animal psychic, so I really had a good time with that with lots of animals. And I did a Curb Your Enthusiasm, which will be on their new season. I can't wait to see it. Okay, thank and thank you. you so much for talking, Bye, my rich girl. girl. Thank you. Betty White is one of the most fabulous women in this whole entire world, and I'm I'm so delighted to see her her success of the last couple of years. I mean, she's become she's become a superstar. I have to tell you a funny story about Betty. You know, I have the, the Shambhala Preserve where we rescue lions and tigers who have been yes, born. Of course, I know all about your United States. Yes, yes. Uh, to be sold as pets. And um, Betty came out one day, and the first time she came out to the preserve. Serve. And at the time, we had two African elephants who lived out their lives with us. We rescued them. But she walked up to Timbo and she said, Timbo, raise your trunk. I want and open your mouth. I want to scratch your tongue. And how many people know that, you know, that elephants, not only curve, but knowledge, you know, of animals. Thank you so much. You look beautiful and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Of course, this is Fred Bullitt here. Um, you're an icon for us. Um, oh, thanks. How do you feel about the award for Betty to, uh, today and your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's wonderful to give this uh, to Betty. And I know my wife is on the board and, and they're, they're so excited just that Betty is, they got uh, Betty White to be here yeah. and that she showed up. I mean, she could, she could have, she has so many other things she could say, oh, I'll send you a check, <laughs> thanks. And, yes. But she's here and it's, it's making everyone very happy. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. I appreciate your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you, sir.